welcome to the Grand State Challenge, where today's match is between the PRHS faculty and the PRHS students. We are going to play four rounds, and we're going to get started right now with round one, which is ten point toss-up questions. And uh, if both teams are ready, we can begin. This herbivore has killed more people in Africa than all the lions, elephants, and water buffaloes combined. Go ahead, Trevor. That is correct. Ten points for the students. Toss up two. This state's capital lies at the mouth of the Charles River. Go ahead, Mr. Harris. Massachusetts. That is correct. Massachusetts for ten points for the faculty. Spell this commonly misspelled word. It's quite an embarrassment. Khalil. E M B A R R A S S E D. Oh. M E N T. Uh, How many chances do you get? That is correct for 10 points. What? <laughs> Toss up. In musical notation, how many horizontal lines are in a staff? Uh, go ahead, Dash. Five. That is correct for 10 points for the students. Toss up. After his term as the 8th President of the United States, uh, he and his incredible sideburns ran for the president of the free soil ticket. Go ahead, Khalil. I didn't pass. Anyone would like to ring in on that? Natalie. Martin That is correct for 10 points for the students. Here's a math calculation question for you. Find the difference between the quantity x squared minus 3x and the quantity 3x minus x squared when x is equal to 4. Find the difference between the quantity x squared minus 3x. Go ahead, dash. 8 is the correct answer. 10 points for the students. Toss up. The rate of ozone production in the atmosphere depends on the concentration of oxygen and the intensity of which band of the electric electromagnetic spectrum. Go ahead, Mr. Harris. Ultraviolet. That is correct for 10 points for the staff. How many years was Ulysses, or Odysseus, absent from his home on Ithaca. Go ahead, Mr. Ferentz. 20. 10 points for this faculty. To date, this president has had the longest lifespan. Go ahead, Mr. Eckert. Joe Biden. That is incorrect to the students. Khalil. Jimmy Carter. No, they have Gerald Ford dying at age 93, so I, I believe that is current. Um, Toss up. This title character of a Dickens novel was born in a workhouse. Uh, that is Catherine. Oliver Twist. That is correct for 10 points. Toss up. This geological term for a hill, knob, or small mountain that rises from a slightly sloping or flat plain shares its name with a New Hampshire mountain. Mr. Mossoff. Mananoc. That is correct for 10 points for the faculty. Uh, nitrogen and oxygen are two of the three elements that comprise one molecule of nitrous acid. What's the third element? Go ahead, Mr. Ferentz. Helium. That is incorrect to the students. Hydrogen. Ten points for the students. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> All right. This ivory statue of a maiden carved by Pygmalion was brought to life by Aphrodite. Or Aphrodite. Go ahead, Mr. Harris. Nike. Incorrect. Do students want to take a guess at that? Go ahead, Khalil. Venus. It was Galatea, so no points on that question. Uh, this avant-garde movement in, the, in art and literature is identified with World War I and rejected cultural and intellectual conformity. Some feel that it was the beginning of postmodern art. Go ahead, Mr. Harris. Dadaism. That is correct for 10 points for the faculty. So currently we have a very tight game after the first 15 questions. Students 70, teachers 50, and we have five questions left in the round. Toss up. In the 16th century, the Iroquois people joined in a group known as the Iroquois League. Name one of the five nations of the original Iroquois League. Go ahead, Catherine. Mohawk. That is correct. We also had Oneida, Onondaga, Cayuga, and Seneca. 
This fictional theoretical physicist is known for his catchphrase, Bazinga! Go ahead, Dash. Sheldon Cooper. Mm. That is correct for 10 points for the students. What punctuation mark should usually precede a coordinate conjunction if it separates two independent clauses? Go ahead, Mr. Eckert. Semicolon. I'm going to give the students a chance on that one. Khalil. A period. It's actually a comma they were looking for there. And next toss-up. This branch of biology is devoted to the study of heredity or how traits pass to offspring. Go ahead, Catherine. Genetics. That is correct. Ten points for the students. And last question of the round. At around six feet in length, this is the largest and lowest pitched bowed string instrument in modern symphony orchestras. Go ahead. Bass. Um... Standard Double base is the answer I was looking for. Ten points for the students. Ending the round with the students doubling the faculty in an embarrassing 100 to 50 points. Oh, nice. Okay. 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 So, uh, continuing along here, we are going to let the faculty go first. That's embarrassed. And you guys have, the second round is going to be called Three Strikes You're Out. Uh, the faculty have a choice of categories in which they will be allowed three strikes, as well as three opportunities to pass the question to the player, to, the, to their, <laughs> I guess, right. I don't know. It depends where you're sitting, I guess. Um, so we're going to see how the faculty do. The choices of your categories are branching out, good as gold, and we are the champions. Good as gold. OK, we're going to go with good as gold. And uh, Mr. Harris is going to answer the first question. All these qu questions, the answers to the following will all include the word gold. Uh, Mr. Harris, who's the author of The Lord of the Flies? Goldie. Okay, that's correct. Uh, I'll tell you the story, score at the end. <laughs> Another name for pyrite, Mr. Boyle. Fool's gold? That is correct. Uh, Mr. Ferentz, biblical tenets to live by. Do I buzz in? You no. just answer. Golden rules. For the point. And uh, Miss Lavender, this was a Bond villain. Goldeneye. That is incorrect. It was Goldfinger. Uh, Mr. Eckert, Oakland, California, NBA team. Uh, Golden Nuggets. That is incorrect. We were looking for the Golden State Warriors there. What are we doing over here? And uh, <laughs> Mr. Masa. Tall plant with yellow flowers that causes hay fever. Golden Rock. That is correct. We're going to loop around to Mr. Harris. Pulitzer Prize winning novel by Donna Tartt or A Small Yellow Bird. Oh, Goldfinch. That is correct. Mr. Boyle. Cartoonist who drew complicated devices to perform simple tasks. Pass. Okay, that's your first pass. That question goes to you, Mr. Ferentz. Would you like me to repeat it? That would be Rube Goldberg. That is correct for the point. And Ms. Laufenberg, this is a colorful synonym for oil. Pass. Okay, that's your second pass. That goes to you, Mr. Eckert. Would you like a repeat? Uh, yes, please. This is a colorful synonym for oil. Black gold. That is Texas tea. You're correct. And the last, nope. Ah, uh, yeah. <clears throat> the last question for you. You have one pass left. <laughs> she made herself at home at the bear's house. That is correct. 80 points for this faculty taking us to 130. And students, you have the choice of categories uh, branching out or we are the champions. We'll do branching out. Branching out it is. All of your, uh, the answers to the following will be all be related to trees. Okay, so we're going to start with Dash. This is a generous Shell Silverstein tree. Giving tree. That is correct for 10 points. He is the guardian of the galaxy. To you, Jason. Pass. We're going to pass it along. Do you need that repeated? Uh, Root. 
That is correct for 10 points. They are allowed to make those hand motions. Yeah. Ron Weasley, Catherine, crashed the family car into this. Weeping Willow. That is incorrect. They were looking for the Whomping Willow. Mm -hmm. And Khalil, in the Bible, it bore the forbidden fruit. Pass. To you. Would you like me to repeat it? Sure. Okay, Trevor. In the Bible, it bore the forbidden fruit. The pinch tree? That is incorrect. We were looking for, Mr. Ferentz? I get the answer. <laughs> oh, no, I, you were laughing. I thought you knew. It is the tree of knowledge. Tree of knowledge. Tree of knowledge. All right, we're looping back around to Dash. You guys have used two passes, and this is two strikes. So we are down to the nitty gritty. These are walking, talking giant trees in Tolkien's Middle Earth. Pass. Pass it to Jason. These are walking, talking giant trees in Tolkien's Middle Earth. Roots. That is incorrect. It was dense. So, this creates quite an exciting game. Tied at 130 points. And. Um, we are done with the second round. We are into the third round. They were the last team to score 130 points, so they get to lead us in the third round. The choices for your categories. This is the 60 second round. I'll say 60 seconds on the clock when you're ready to start. Uh, the choices for your categories are we are the champion for the birds. <coughs> Or quicksand. Birds. Birds. These guys are aware that um, you can say pass if you want to get to the next question because you don't know. Um, but a right or wrong answer immediately will give you the next question. So if you want to interrupt on this, you can. But all your answers will go through. Birds. For the birds. So that means um, the answer to the following will all be titles that include the include a bird. So, 60 seconds are on the clock. Uh, I'll remind you all questions come through Dash. First question, start the clock, please. Poem with a bird who said nevermore. Raven. Raven. Correct. Novel by Harper Lee. Uh, the Mockingbird. Correct. 1941 movie featuring Humphrey Bogart the birds. and Sam Spade. The birds. Yes, the birds. That is incorrect. It's the Maltese Falcon. Oh, so oh my God. Movie about a scrappy kid's hockey team. Pass. The penguins. That is incorrect. It's the Mighty Ducks. A 1969 autobiography by Maya Angelou. Uh, oh, I know when the, when the cage bird sings. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. When, the cage bird sings. when the cage bird sings. They were looking for I know why oh, wow. the cage bird sings. E. B. White book about a bird without a voice. Swan, uh, Trumpet of the Swan. Trumpet yeah. of the Swan. Correct. Third in a trilogy of novels by Susan Collins. Mockingjay. Mockingjay. That is correct. Famous song by Leonard Skinner about a bird that you cannot change. Free bird. Free bird, yeah, free bird. Correct. Prince song about weepy birds. Uh, when does uh, Correct. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys yeah. scored 6 out of 10 correct for 60 points on the 60 seconds. Uh, 60 seconds on the clock. And faculty, you have the remaining categories. Uh, we are the champions. <clears throat> Quicksand. Let's go. We are the champions. Yeah. We are the champions. All right. I hate this. Queen. Queen. We're running. Don't worry. We're yeah, we'll be right. okay. So the answer to the following will all be individuals who've won a Nobel Prize. Oh, oh, no. 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 Oh, no. Oh, no. That one was a little bit, Just like that. A little bit hidden there. Okay, 60 seconds on the clock. Please start it. Discovered x-rays and won the first Nobel Prize. Brandon. That is correct. Broke Babbitt, Elmer Gantry, and... Sinclair Lewis. That is correct. <laughs> Author of For the Bell Tolls and a Fair... That is correct. <laughs> he figured out E equals MC squared. Einstein. 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 Correct. A plan is named for the man Churchill, the organizer of victory. A plan is named for the man Churchill, named the organizer of victory. 
Oh, it's one of those. Um, yeah, take a shot. Marshall plan? That is correct. She shared a physics prize with her husband and a chemistry one on her own. And she won a peace prize for her missionary work in India. That is correct. He conditioned dogs to drool. And he won a Nobel Prize in Chemistry and the Nobel Peace Prize. Uh, Blaise Pascal, there you go, Nobel. Hawkins. <laughs> Pascal. That was Linus Pauling. Oh my Finally. God. Time former. Oh, we're out of time. Yeah. I think we should get it because we had a little pause in there when you had to reread a question. Uh, oh, Mr. Harris. Oh. This former president won the 2002 Peace What's Prize it? for his work advancing human rights. Mm -hmm. Jimmy Carter, probably. Carter? Yeah. I'll give you that because I think your spelling question was a little bit. <laughs> 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 oh, We're going to give the faculty 90 that points on that. Point 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 I did have a little question yeah. issue there. So, no embarrassment. Embarrassment. And the students? The students earned 80 points. I think they got 60 points. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. got they did. Can you take them back to 190? No. <laughs> is that 80? Six out of ten. Oh, no, yeah. you, you get six out of ten. All right. So, the last round is really going to be the deciding one here because questions are 20 points, and there is a negative 20-point aspect to each question. So, we have 30 points, uh, 30 questions in this round available. 600 points up for grad, just as negative 600 points are up for grad. So, please bring in judiciously and be sure of yourself. It's a tight game here. For uh, whoever's listening, it tends not to be many of our players. So. All right, toss up. This vice president was Secretary of Defense under President George H.W. Bush. That was Dick Cheney. Okay, this 2008 novel is written in the voice of Katniss Everdeen. Go ahead, Natalie. The Hunger Games. 20 points for the students. This species of fish shares its name with a roost for a bird. Go ahead, Catherine. Perch. 20 points for the students. What is the cube of 3R squared? Mr. Eckert. 3R. That is negative 20 points for the teachers. Students, what is the cube of... Go ahead, Dash. 27R to the sixth. That is for 20 points. This was the United States' first underwater tunnel for vehicles. It opened in 1927. That was the... Mr. Harris? The Holland Tunnel? For 20 points. Oh, oh my God. He is Chief Justice of the New Hampshire Supreme Court. That was Ju uh, Gordon McDonald. Gordon McDonald. From which part of a tree are quinine and aspirins silicic acid extracted? Go ahead, Mr. Harris. The bark. 20 points for the staff. Uh, although he rejects the label, this contemporary American composer is identified with minimalism and is a cousin of radio host Ira Glass. Go ahead, Mr. Harris. Philip Glass. Philip Glass is correct for 20 points for the faculty. Which state does Florida share the longest border with? Call it Catherine. Atlanta. That's negative 20 points for the students. The faculty, Mr. Mossall. Georgia. For 20 points. Oh, Big 40 point nice. swing there. <laughs> this red haired former late night TV host was once a writer for The Simpsons. Mr. Mossall. Conan O'Brien. That is correct for 20 points. Uh, lemurs are a member of this order of mammals. Mr. Harris. Marsupial. Negative 20 points for the faculty. Khalil. Primates. For 20 points. Big swing right there. This four word phrase describe news that's new, just printed or new news. Go ahead. Hot off the press. For 20 points. For the students. This Dutch painter is perhaps best known for his painting, Girl with a Pure Pearl. Earring, Trevor. Vermeer. That is incorrect for 20 points to the faculty. Could you repeat your answer? What? You said Vermeer. Vermeer. That's oh, right. okay. I thought you said Vermeer. No, you got it. No, I had 20 like, points for the students. I apologize. Did you nag them or no? No. So you gave them back 20? Yeah. Okay. And the 20 more? Yeah. Great. Right. Thank you. Toss up 14. What do the letters C, D, L, 
M, V, and X have in common? Go ahead, Mr. Harris. They're all Roman numerals. That is correct. How many, 20 points for the faculty. How many U.S. states border Mexico? Number of U.S. states that border Mexico four. is four for 20 points for the students. Both eggs and detectives can be described as this. Trevor Hartboy. 20 points for the students. This American painter is best known for his works depicting the rural Midwest. His best known work, American Gothic, featuring a farmer and his wife, is a favorite subject for parodies. Go ahead, Wood. Dash. Grant Wood is 20 points for the students. What is the common name for the infectious disease pertussis? Go ahead, Mr. Harris. Is correct for 20 points for the faculty. This New Hampshire city was first incorporated as the town of Rumford in 1734. In 1765, following a bitter boundary dispute with Bo, Governor Benning Wentworth renamed it this, which means harmony between people or a treaty. Mr. Eckert. Concord. For 20 points. This African-American choreographer's work, Revelation, tells the story of African Americas from slavery to freedom. Before I have you answer, I believe I said composer, but I meant to say this African American choreographer. Right? You said choreographer. Okay, your answer? <coughs> Alvin Haley. For, could you repeat that answer? Uh, no, it. <laughs> <laughs> that it might be correct. What did you say? Alvin Haley. I'm going to have to say no to that Jesus to the students. Christ. Ridiculous. It's <laughs> an embarrassment thing. Natalie? Is it Alvin Ailey? It is correct. Alvin Ailey. Yes. 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 He did Natalie. say that somewhere Nat in there. Uh, Before oh. he became a traitor, Benedict Arnold's actions in the 1777 Revolutionary War battle were key to a victory for America. Mr. Harris, sir, okay. is correct for 20 points. The current score is teachers 340, <laughs> students 370. We have an exciting Nine questions left. It is clearly anyone's game. Next toss-up. Set in 1991 in the fishing port of Gloucester, Massachusetts, this 1997 book by Sebastian Junger, or Younger, is an account of the disappearance of the Andrea Gale off the coast of Nova Scotia. Mr. Boyle. Perfect going. Yes. Is correct for 20 points. This unusual, sedentary, and possibly sedimentary pet, made popular in the 1970s, Came in, for, came in a cardboard box and was accompanied by a 32-page manual on how to feed and care for it. Mr. Ferentz. That would be a dead rock. That is 20 points. Wow. An electric circuit has a current of 5 amps and a resistance of 3 ohms. What's the voltage of the circuit? 15. For 20 points for the students. This can be a hat or a type of sled. We were looking for a toboggan. This rodent <coughs> used to predict the continuing length of winter at a yearly ceremony in Pennsylvania. Go ahead, Dad. Groundhog. That is correct. And what constellation is on the Alaskan state flag? Go ahead, Mr. Harris. Big Dipper. That is correct for 20 points. 10 point game. There is going to be a definitive winner here. We're oddly matched at 20 point questions. So the next. Four toss-ups will decide it. Three toss-ups. Elizabeth Barrett Browning's sonnets from the Portuguese chronicle her relationship with this fellow poet. Mr. Harris. Robert Browning. For 20 points. Mount Rainier is the highest mountain in this state. Go ahead, Mr. Mossoff. Washington State. 20 points for the faculty. This candy was introduced in 1978, but did not become widely popular until the release of E.T., the extraterrestrial, in 1982. Go ahead, Mr. Harris. Oh, For the win! Faculty narrowly win by two and a half questions. Very impressive showing. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you soon on the Grand State Challenge.